roots of resilience, our theme for today, surround all of us. And there are pathways forward for humanity, even in the most complex crises. The prize has for 28 years now helped further fuel the success of exceptional nonprofits. We are immensely proud of the history of our work to date and to be associated with such tremendous laureate organizations, many of which are in the room today. Our world is full of remarkable goodness and light, and yet at times it is also beset by destruction and darkness. As we convene today, we have the opportunity to bring more light into the darkness. We can discover and discuss new ideas, approaches, and innovations that can better equip us not only to confront these urgent challenges, but also ultimately to overcome them. We can share hope. It is clear that we must build our future together in a way that addresses these truly massive numbers of human beings who find themselves straddling multiple crises, whether it's war or extreme hunger or being born into a failed state. And that's why a moment like this, where we can bring together inspirational leaders who are working directly on these issues is so important. We have to engage in principled struggle. That means things don't always have to um, be comfortable. We don't always have to agree. But if it's rooted in principles, we can struggle with each other and still move forward. And in indigenous communities, we have something called the seven generations principle, which is every decision that we take, think of the wisdom of the past seven generations for the stability of the future seven generations. There's an opportunity for us to deploy the resources we have and the tools we have to make a more permanent dent in addressing global hunger in a way that is sustainable and has more lasting impact. Those communities you're working with are bringing in something you would otherwise have to pay for. Mm -hmm. The lived experiences, you don't have to pay for them. The land they're giving you, the land they're farming on, all those are resources you don't have to invest in. So the community is actually one of your biggest funders. Mm -hmm. Remember that. As I believe, even in this tough macroeconomic environment, that it is realistic to be optimistic about our capacity to end hunger, to end poverty, and to end the massive instability that's created when people are robbed of their basic dignity to thrive. When farmers become more productive, mass numbers of people earn their way out of poverty. When they become more productive, they fill their communities with enough food and more nutritious food. These solutions are highly scalable. They only require resources and will. One Acre Fund is so proud to serve the hardest working, most powerful people on earth. Every day, they wake up ready to feed their communities, steward their land, and to earn a path to prosperity. I hope you'll join me in a round of applause for this year's honorees, Smallholder Farmers. Kasilo bina kozonga, ayeba yamao. 